Hallelujah. Bring up forth his fruit in his spirit. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. You want to prosper in life. Study his word. And if you are not studying his word today, God will revive you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible, the word of God, is the manuscript for prosperity. And number four, who needs revival? When you sleep too much, <coughs> somebody say, wake up, are you sleeping? Talk to your neighbor, are you sleeping? Neighbor, are you sleeping? Let me wake him up, wake him up. <laughs> when you sleep too much, you have no fire. Your fire has gone out. And that is why you are sleeping. You are at ease in Zion. Nothing is moving you. You just sleep and sleep and sleep. Enterprise is too small to sleep. You need extra help. Please let me sleep a little bit more. You turn the other side and need to sleep more. They will wake you up. Your destiny is passing you by now. You use more than half of your life to sleep. Do you know what you have? It's your time. Time is money. Time is your destiny. And what you do with your time is what you are doing with your destiny. If you use more than half of your life to sleep, then you are missing. Do you know generally, normal human being, we are recommended to sleep six to eight hours. That's one third of our day. So at the end of your life, at the end of our life, if you are following that regimen, that means we have used one third of our life to sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The reason why you are sleeping too much is because you are weak in the spirit. You can't pray, you are weak spiritually. Your battery needs to be recharged spiritually. You are lazy spiritually. Ladies and gentlemen, when a man loves to sleep, when a man loves to sleep, a woman loves to sleep, it's an indication of spiritual laziness. In fact, mental laziness as well. It's mentally dull. We have two and two together and we get ten. <laughs> Go and sleep again and wake up. Somebody said we wake up unto righteousness. <laughs> and we not sleep the sleep of death. Slowfulness, laziness will make a man to sleep more than necessary. Slowfulness will make a man require more than eight hours to sleep. You are not a baby. His baby can sleep 12 hours. They need to sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you discover that you are just sleeping, I just want to rest a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit is eight hours. You need deliverance. You need revival. Do you know the Bible made a, an interesting reference? Well, let me say a referral, a unique referral by God was made to a slothful man to go to the heart and learn the wisdom of industry. Look at it. Proverbs chapter 6. I love this talk. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 to 11. He says, Go to the heart. Thou sluggard. Go to the heart. Lazy people, go to the heart. Weak people, go to the heart. You don't want to walk? Go to the heart. Sluggard. Slothful. Lazy. You don't want to do anything? Go to the heart. Go and learn from the heart. Thou slogan. Look at it. He said, which of? He said, go to the end, thou slogan. Consider our ways and be wise. In other words, go and learn wisdom. Consider our ways and be wise. Verse 7. Proverbs 6, verse 7. Look at this. Which have no guide. He has no guide. No guidelines. No overseer. He has no pastor to tell him. No pastor, no ruler. But 
provided our meat in the summer and gathering our food in the harvest. How long without sleep? O oh, Lord God, when we thou arise out of your sleep, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little falling of hands to sleep, so shall it thy poverty come as the one that traveled and prayed and thy want as an animal. Hallelujah. In other words, listen to this. There is a direct link between slothfulness, sleeping too much, and poverty. And the poverty we are talking about is not just a physical poverty. We are talking about a spiritual poverty. When you sleep too much, you are spiritually weak, you are poor. You need somebody to pray for you. Somebody say, we are weak. Unto righteousness and we are weak. Slowness we eventually lead to poverty. Slowness, because you have used more than half of your life to sleep. You have not used it to work. You have not used it to, to do something constructive. Something, something very, you know, promising. For your life, for your family, for your children, for the church of God. Because you are slaughtered. You can't even come to all night prayer meeting. If you come, you will sleep there. <laughs> Somebody said, We are weak. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. So, somebody came to the all night prayer meeting and he, thought he was sleeping in the family. He said, Hey, man, 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 and the partner is free, he's saying, hey, 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 don't disrupt the church. Hey, hey. Oh, Jesus, help me. So say, hey, man, hey, man. That guy was able to come to church, somebody will wake him up. But some people don't come to one night. In this church, we have all night prayer meeting. The last Friday of every month, we wait on the Lord. We come together to pray because we know we can't succeed without Him. We are nothing without Him. We come together to seek His face. And we have never been disappointed doing that. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. You want to know the time? It's 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Because this is America, 1 a.m. Amen. Amen. In Nigeria, it's 6 a.m. Hallelujah, but these 24 hours, uh, people need to go to work. It's wonderful. But do that to me, I'll come. It's from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Come and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you can't come because you come to sleep. I got to have my rest, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I got to rest. This is a very tedious country. Pastor, why are you praying like that? In this church, they pray too much. They pray too much. When you are like that, you need revival. Then they stay too long. This they just stay too long. You, it's because your fire is hot. The fire here is too much for you to handle. This is a living church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This church is a living church. Amen. Amen. When you love to sleep, poverty. We become your neighbor. Somebody said, get that in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Today, God will wake you up. Amen. Everyone slumping in the spirit. You will wake up in Jesus' name.